Hi, what's up? I'm Alex, and if you clicked on this video, boy are you in for a treat. Because today I'm going to show you my Aeropod list, which sounds like a designer clothing brand, but is actually a math equation. Because Aerodactyl plus Galissapod equals Aeropod. The point of our deck is to swing for upwards of 180 damage turn after turn with single prize attackers, and favorably prize trade into anything that uses V or GX Pokemon. So who are our attackers? Well, to start we play a 4-3 line of Galissapod, whose hard time slash attack does 30 damage plus 50 more for each of your opponent's V or GX Pokemon in play. That means it regularly swings for 180, 230, or even 280 enough to knock out the devil. Sorry, I mean god. We also play 4 Aerodactyls, who can swing for 180 if you don't have any V or GX Pokemon on your own bench. Which, of course... We don't. This deck uses a Jirachi engine with 4 Jirachi, 4 Scoop Up Net, and 4 Switch to allow us to cycle through our deck, and most importantly find our turn 1 Pokemon Research Lab which we use to get our Aerodactyls into play. We also play one copy of Celebi from Champion's Path which allows us to find our energy, which are of course 4 Triple Acceleration Energy and 3 Twin Energy. We run a standard 4-4 Research Marnie line, as well as 2 Bosses Orders to pick our targets. We also play one copy of Echoing Horn, which we can use to, of course, put V or GX Pokemon onto our opponent's bench, so our Galissapod ends up hitting for 50 more damage. And that's the deck. Next I'll show you some games I played with it, and you'll see the power of Aeropod. Trademark pending. Alright, so we're getting into our first game here against Hype Mare, who, uh, I don't know, no roast inbound for that, looks like a normal profile picture. <laughs> um, playing Celestial Storm Sleeves, so that's cool. Don't really know if there's any analysis there. Um, we start the Jirachi, which is good, because, of course, we want to always get off that turn one research lab, um, and the Jirachi helps us find it. We also have a draw supporter, because we're going second. And it looks like we're going up against Dark Box, which is, I think, a decisively great matchup. Um, because we uh, we have they have lots of V and GX that they bench. Um, I don't think they have a single one prize person or like attacker that they use. <laughs> Not person. Um, I don't think they have people aren't worth prize cards. But <laughs> I don't think they have a single one prize attacker um, that they consistently use. Maybe they play Guzzlord. Um, if they drop that Mewtwo, that'd be great. And that's just more GX Pokemon that we can use to. Uh, or not. Um, I think if we played Mawile in this deck, that would be kind of broken, but this, this deck is kind of tight on space, so um, it's actually kind of more difficult to play, uh, to, to do that than you'd think. Um, so I don't think we really have to worry a whole lot about, a whole lot about bench sniping, so I think um, what we're going to do is we're going to Stellar Wish, right? Our goal for this turn is to find the Research Lab, because we have a Wimpod down, we have an Energy down, um, so that's what we need to do now, right? Um, I think, yeah, we're going to grab this, because what we can do is we can go, uh, Calm for a Jirachi level ball for the Celebi, we can attach the Air Balloon to the Celebi, we can switch into the Celebi, then we can Marnie ourselves into a new hand, um, which will ideally, you know, get us closer, right? We can switch into the Celebi, right? And then if we find a switch off of our, uh, off of our draw, we can, um, use our Woodland Stroll ability and retreat into our other Jirachi, right? And we have the um, ability then to, uh, you know, do more Stellar Wishing, try and find a Research Lab. There it is, actually. So um, I think we're just going to end our turn with this Jirachi in the active, right? We'll get off another Stellar Wish. Um, we only play one copy of the Celebi, so we'd rather leave the Jirachi in the active. Uh, we're going to Woodland Stroll, that Twin Energy... Um, I'm going to leave the Twin Energy. I'm not going to grab it because, you know, we're probably going to end up researching next turn. Um, that Echoing Horn is uh, pretty good. Um, I don't think there's danger that they bench lock themselves, so I think we're just going to hold on to it. Um, uh, I don't know what we're looking for next turn. I think what we're looking for next turn is probably just a Triple Excel, so we're going to thin that out of the deck. Leave the scoop up net, leave the Marnie, because I think we're always going to research here. Then we'll end our turn with uh, Poke Research Lab, get our Aerodactyls out. Because um, I think we'd I think we'd prefer to hit with the Aerodactyls to start out with. Um, obviously, next turn we can go Stellar Wish, right? We can scoop up net. If they haven't vacated a bench spot for us, 
right? I don't know that they'll be able to attack next turn. If they do, if they knock out a Jirachi, right, that's fine because we can just bench the Wimpod. Um, if not, I think we probably scoop up net whatever Jirachi we Stellar Wish with, and then we drop the Wimpod in its place because I think um, it seems to me that we'd rather be attacking with Galissapod in this matchup um, because Galissapod seems really strong against... Uh, you know, lots and lots of VNGX Pokemon, right? In other matchups, the Aerodactyl is more important um, because, you know, we can't always rely on our po uh, on our opponent to bench VNGXs, but they already have they already have three out, right? We'll make that four with our Echoing Horn next turn. Um, and I think, I don't know, maybe I, we need a little bit more from them, um, right? We want them to drop another V or GX of their own, so we can one-shot the Mewtwo, um, you know, but if that doesn't happen, it's no big deal. Um, right, a second, echoing horn, uh, a second Echoing Horn would be good here. Um, I think the Greninja Zoroark is a little bit more useless, so we're gonna, because it's, it's GX attack is a lot less good, um, so we're gonna drop that for him. Uh, let's go Stellar Wish. We could, uh, we could thin a Jirachi out of the deck with this thing, uh, which I kind of like. Um, or we could grab the Calm, and we could... Yeah, I think we grab the Calm, right? Then that gu guarantees us the Galissapod this turn, right? Because we can go scoop up net here. Uh, promote that guy, drop that. Uh, calm, grab the Galissapod, then we're just going to research, right? We're, we need to find energy this turn. Um, we only have one Galissapod in the deck, which is... Kind of, which is which is obviously pretty bad. So I think we'll um, try and attack with Aerodactyl this turn if we can find the Triple XL. Um, we might have more than one chance to do that uh, because it looks like we've got like we, we could scoop up net. Uh, I'd rather okay we're not going to find it off that one. Um, I don't know. Is it okay to just attack with Galissapod here? Um, then what, we can just, I don't know, it uh, seems like we'd really just prefer to attack with Aerodactyl. Maybe we just end the turn with with the Jirachi in the active, um, right, and we hold off. We're not, we're not really scared of them bossing. Uh, obviously this deck could play Oracorio, um, which is, you know, something, I, I don't know, I consider that, um, but, you know, that, that could be good. Um, if you want to make this deck your own, that's a, an inclusion you could consider making. Um, not really sure what we grab here. I think there's nothing really that we need to search out right now, so I think we'll just grab this. Uh, this thing is what evolves um, Aerodactyl, uh, and it's nice because it has the effect of you can discard it from your uh, you can discard it from play at any t at a, uh, yeah at any point, um, which is which is kind of really good uh, in certain scenarios. Um, because especially with, like, our need to pivot the Jirachi, um, you know, it's, it's effective uh, sometimes as, as, like, a, right, maybe you scoop up net, but you don't have a follow-up Jirachi, so you can promote this thing and discard it and promote your Jirachi again. Um, yeah, we'd really, we'd really like to see them drop another. If they Dede change out of this hand, that would be great for us. Um, I'd, I'd really, really like to see that. Uh, but I, I think that would be a grievous misplay from them, because that would give us... Alright, and grievously misplay they do. That gives us 280 damage on board with the, uh, with the Galissapod. So as long as they, they've already researched this turn, right? So they can't boss. Um, I don't think there's any ability. Maybe there's a GX attack we could be scared of. Maybe they could Dark Moon, they could Dark Union. None of that is really that scary. Um... Like, they're probably just going to be attacking with Dark Pulse this turn, right? But if they do that, and the Incineroar isn't scary either. Yeah, if they don't do that, we just have the boss uh, knockout, which is really good. That Triple Excel is also awesome. Um, so we're just, yeah, we're just going to take the boss KO on the Mewtwo, uh, right? They didn't drop, like, a big charm or anything. Um, we'll take our Stellar Wish here. I think we probably promote the Celebi. Um, we're going to thin the Stadium Nav out of the hand. Maybe we... Maybe we take the boss, just so we have a little bit more flexibility. 
um, next turn, right? We have everything we need to attack if we get a Galissapod off of the uh, prize cards, which is entirely plausible. Um, we currently can't knock out that guy, but I think our optimal route is probably, or like our optimal routing for this game is probably to um, go V or tag team, tag team. So yeah, we're just going to build up our hand here. Uh, there's obviously like the chance that they can Marnie us. Um, I think that's fine. That's something we can live with if they do that. Uh, we still have, you know, we've got quite a bit of infrastructure here. We're going quite far ahead in the prize trade, um, right? Because the most that they can do, I don't think Dark Box plays any kind of, um, and those are those are both excellent cards, off of the top, and they just concede. Um, yeah, they were <laughs> way too way too far behind. Dark Box doesn't play any kind of sniping. Um, they can't take more than one prize card per turn. And yeah, dropping that Dene, dropping that Dedene was just the worst decision they could have made. All right, we're getting into a game here against Mr. Uh, Mrs. Gordank Ramsmium, which is creative, <laughs> creative to say the least. Um, kind of a goaded name, actually. Can't believe she must have, you know, she must have started back in 2012, when PTCGO was new, because there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that they just, like, no one was like, yo, let's be Gordon Rams meme, um, because if she started recently, right, <laughs> there's, I'm explaining a joke, a joke isn't funny if you have to explain it, um, but I digress, uh, we're gonna go ahead, we'll put the, we'd, we'd rather not put the air balloon on the wind pod. Uh, I think we have a second air balloon in the deck, though, um, for the Celebi. Uh, we'll get the Stellar Wish here, and we'll get the Research Lab, so nothing to complain about. Turn one. Um, I think we... Maybe we grab the switch. I don't know. We go level ball. Get ourselves another Jirachi. Uh, that seems okay. right? If by some miracle they get the... Uh, if, or, or I think, yeah, maybe we'd grab Celebi. Let's check to see if we have another air balloon. No other air balloon. Uh, that sucks. Um, yeah, we'll do that then. That's that's okay. It's I think it's better than the second Jirachi, because I think it's really unlikely that they get the attack here. They did choose to go second, um, which, I don't know, maybe it's aggro, maybe it's, you know, a fire deck because um, I think those are the only kind of decks that want to go second, and I think we probably match up really favorably into decks like that. Um, you know, decks that want to attack on their opening turn. Uh, so we'll see if they can... Martial Arts Dojo. So, I don't know. <laughs> Colossal? I don't think Urshifu wants to go second. Maybe it's Urshifu, though. Um... I don't know, Sandaconda VMAX, uh, we'll see, we'll see what they grab off this quick ball. Uh, they do have a Rainbow Rare Marnie, which is kind of cool, and it is Rapid Strike Urshifu, so, um, we do play Mew in this deck, uh, right, which is a huge headache to deal with for Urshifu, um, because, you know, they kind of, Urshifu, um, Urshifu doesn't match up well against single prize decks, uh, because it runs out of resources really quick. Like, I think, you know, it's really, it's really good, um, but I think it's kind of a semi-unsustainable deck against, you know, I, I've had trouble with it against, like, Decidui or against, well, obviously you have trouble against Decidui, um, but maybe, like, you know, other single prize decks, because <clears throat> it just, it runs out of runs out of tinder, right? And then it's, it just kind of has trouble that way. Um, so they have four V and GX Pokemon benched, which is solid for us because that means we'll be able to attack with Glissopod this game, which is, you know, good. Um, I think we're still asleep. So we're, we're still asleep, not because we already Stellar Wish this turn. Um, we could try and get the knockout, uh, which seems good. Uh, they have an energy on this guy. Um, they can't do bonus damage, right? They'd have to get a candy, 
Candy and Teleon um, to do bonus damage against our Aerodactyls. Um, so, yeah, so what I'm debating right now is whether or not I want to put down a Wimpod in the place of this Jirachi, right, because we're going to scoop up net this Jirachi, or if I want to... I think we grab scoop up net uh, just because we want, you know, as much chances as we can to uh, get that woodland stroll to connect. Um, I think I think we probably just play it safe. There's no reason not to play it safe here. Um, I, th I think they really can't win if they're hitting the active turn after turn. Um, so we're going to grab the Mew. Um, you know, I think we might have more explosive potential if we grab the Wimpod, because we'd have to follow up Galissapod for next turn. Um, but I think... Or we could just not find the energy. That's that's chill, too. Um, we can we can get another Woodland Stroll off, um, because we have the Air Balloon, right? And we have the Switch to get out of the Air Balloon. So we'll see if we find it. If we can get, if we can get the attack off this turn, um, that seems like really good tempo. Or we could just whiff it twice. Um, that's cool, too. Uh, do we switch into Jirachi then? Because um, I think they'll probably just knock out whatever we have in the active. Um, and the Celebi seems kind of valuable. Um, how many switch cards are we down? Are we down? Um, we're going to be Marnieing next turn. So I think... I think switch cards are less valuable than the Celebi. Um... We're gonna we're gonna grab that because if he knocks out the Jirachi next turn, uh, we'll be able to get off a Woodland Stroll into the Jirachi, um, which seems okay. I think Glissopod has three retreat. No, it only has two retreat. So this is a viable pivot. Um, seems good. Uh, they're gonna shady dealings. And we missed the attack this turn, which kind of hurts, but I think that just means instead of going 2-prizer, two 2-prizer, two 2-prizer, two we go Urshifu, Urshifu, and that's our that's our prize map. Um, they retreat. Um, so they attach to this guy. Oh, they're just going to 100 Furious Blows. Yeah, one problem I have with Urshifu sometimes is when you... Um, when you try to attack with Gale Thrust on the VMAX, right, it has to it has to be the VMAX when it comes into the active, um, right? If, like, the basic comes into the active and then you evolve the VMAX, right, you, like, evolve the basic to the VMAX, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually count um, because you're not promoting the Urshifu, right? It says if this Pokemon moved from your bench to your active spot, uh, it's not the VMAX, right? It's the V. So that Pokemon, you know, the VMAX hadn't evolved that turn. Um, wow, and we are just not hitting anything off this Woodland Stroll. Um, we have more Jirachis in the deck. Uh, really all we're trying to find here is just energy. So I think we drop the Wimpod, um, and we have... We drop the Wimpod and we drop the Celebi, and we promote this guy as our pivot, and I think this is okay. Um, I think this is fine, because we really just need an attack on this guy this turn. Um, and that'll that'll do it. Uh, so... Okay, yeah, so we'll just do the hard time slash. Um, then we have the boss, and we have, you know, we have everything we need to attack with Galissapod next turn, uh, which is good. Uh, we can bump their stadium or their tower of waters. Um, we have two Aerodactyls. Um, they are down prize cards now, so the uh, the Karate Belt is active, which means they can Gale Thrust. Um, they do still need to find... I, I, I imagine with their hand they probably have the, uh, the switch out. Um, they attach to the Urshifu, so that means... I think that means what, what we can... What we can um, suppose from that. Also, the Inteleon, I think that means he's going to try sniping my Mew. Um, that could mean that our last scoop up net is going to be used to scoop up net the Mew next turn. Um, but yeah, I think what we can deduce from him attaching this, I think that means he doesn't have the, um, that, he got rid of our really good hand, so that, that kind of sucks. Um, he, uh, he didn't have, 
you know, it doesn't even matter anymore because he, we did, none of none of that is the same because of the Marnie. Um, but I think he didn't have the uh, energy for that guy. He didn't have the... Uh, I'm just rambling on about something that doesn't matter. He didn't have the Rapid Strike energy. Um, so I figured, right, if he's taking the knockout this turn, the prize cards go down to even, the Karate Belt doesn't work. And so he has... Right, he attaches because he has an out then to... Uh, and he drops the Sobble on the bench, which, I don't know, questionable decision. I think we're just going to promote the Aerodactyl because we have the attack. Um, we're going to, yeah, what we want to find this turn, what we'd really like to find is scoop up net. Because we'd like to scoop up net the Mew. Uh, because he's bench locked himself, right? So if we can get the scoop up net on the Mew, um, right, and we can keep that for another turn, uh, that would be really good. Um, I don't know if we have enough. We, we do still have three switches left after this one. So we're going to go for it. Um, I think it seems just, it, it's, it's just really bad if he, if he knocks out the Mew and he knocks out the Aerodactyl next turn. You know, maybe it didn't matter, actually. Maybe it didn't matter. Maybe that's not something I had to have dug for. We do have the switches, though, so if we find it off the Stellar Wish... No, we don't find it off the Stellar Wish. Um, is the Calm good? The Calm could be kind of good, because next turn, we have the Triple Excel. We can go... We can, And we also have the Switch, right? So we have, like, options with the Pivot. Uh, I think we're going to go Calm, because... Echoing Horn. Um, Marnie, Marnie would have also been good, um, but I think I like the Calm a little bit more. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to grab that guy. We're going to Calm him back in. I think we'll just evolve this turn. Um, right? It's not like we can hold on to the Calm or the Quick Balls for the Dene, because uh, we don't play any of that. We don't play Crobats. Um, so this seems okay, because if he leaves this guy in the active, which he'll have to if he wants to attack... Um, Right, then he uh, will will be able to get the re get the rest of the knockout next turn, um, and we have three attackers. Right, we have three attackers. So even if he gets the rapid flow, he can only get it onto this guy, this guy, this guy, uh, or you know any combination of two of them. Um, but he can't get it on all of them. Right, because what he can do, even though they have one thirty, um, right, and he doesn't have damage modifications to take them out, he can just uh, you know, quick shooting and finish him off on the bench, um, which is good. So he'll get the knockout on the mute here, right? Which means he has the option to, you know, knock out whatever he wants. Luckily, we don't have another 60, 60 HP Pokemon. Um, otherwise, he'd be able to take, you know, the full knockouts. Like, he'll just be able to, he would just be able to take knockouts with the Inteleon next turn. Um, we're actually safe from that, though, because... He doesn't have, yeah, so he doesn't have the follow-up attacker. So as long as we get the knockout here, right, we should be in control of this game because anything he sends up, we should be able to knock out. Probably what he'll try to do is he'll promote the, he'll promote the Dedene with the air balloon. He'll try to drop a, uh, an Urshifu. And then we'll have to probably boss around the Urshifu if we want to win, um, which I think, you know, is plausible. We could do that. Um... He did find a lot of the stuff that he needed that turn to be able to um, to be able to uh, get that rapid strike off. He takes the knockout on the Celebi, which I don't. I, I guess I see I see the logic in it because um, Celebi is you know it's really explosive. Um, it gives us energy. We have four energy. Uh, like organically in our deck, um, so I think we can. I think we can drop this because if that gets knocked out, right, it's no worse than 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 the Jirachi getting knocked out. Um, I think he'll probably try and attack with attack the Galissapod next turn, and I think our ideal attacker, right, to finish out the game is probably Galissapod um, because it takes Twin or it takes. Um, 
Now the question is, do we want to take the knockout with Galishapod or not? Um, I think I think it's too much thinking. I think we'll hold on to the switch, right? But we could we could have taken the knockout with the Galishapod, um, which just means that he. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't really mean a whole lot. We find the boss, so all we need now is we need an energy. That Celebi would have helped us, so props to my opponent for probably making the right play by grabbing the grabbing the Celebi. Um, and if he doesn't if he doesn't get a V down, right? He promotes the Inteleon, which seems bad because all right, he'll take out the Galishapod. That's fine though, because we have one more Galishapod in the deck. Um, Right, what we're probably looking to do is we're probably looking to research in a game if he promotes, or if he leaves something in the active. If he leaves, if if this com finds an Urshifu, he finds a VMAX, which I think means that he's out of V. Um, or maybe he has one in his hand. Right, he has to, he wants to leave a wall in the active. Um, and if he doesn't do that, then we have the game in our hand if we find, like in, in our hands, meaning that we have the capability uh, to win game next turn. Um, not in our hand, meaning that, like, in our actual hand we have game, because we don't. Um, and so our win cons, if he doesn't get up the wall, off the research, are either Triple Excel and Aerodactyl, or Twin and Galishapod, and some kind of switch out. Um, uh, which, it, it sucks that we have this switch in our hand, so I think... If we, if we attack with the Galissapod as well, um, that also means we have to find uh, the Echoing Horn. I'm not sure what the optimal play is here. Um, he's going to grab a Mew. He's just thinning his deck. Um, I'm not sure. I think we need too much to get the attack off with the... Uh, with the Galissapod. I think we need too much. So I think I think we just hope for the triple XL. Um don't overcomplicate things. We could also find right, because we don't guaranteed need the switch. We, <laughs> I'm not very good at enunciating what I'm thinking. Does the twin energy change anything? I think the twin energy no, because we can't attach it to something to retreat. Um, the twin energy doesn't do it. Uh, and he's got game on the Jirachi next turn. Um, so I think we'll just, I think we'll just research, see if we can, see if we can find the, yeah, see if we can find the triple XL. If we can, we win. If we don't, we lose. And there it is! Last card, last card of the draw. Well played to my opponent. You have a good deck. Nice meta deck, bro. Doesn't matter, though. We're, uh beating you with Aeropod. GG's. <laughs> Research go <brrr. laughs> All right. Thanks for watching the video. Um, have a good rest of your day, and uh, make sure to, I don't know, engage with the video if you like it. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, thanks. See you next time.